<laughs> no problem, don't worry. I want to see the field. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
one of your finances because his uh, Broadway musicals out of New York. The Red Sox and Fenway are more of a sideline. So Sally and Babe Ruth was the beginning for $125,000. After that, Mr. Prezzi sells another dozen players to help finance his Broadway musicals. This was not interested in Fenway and the Red Sox at all. So, by the time the Yankees were never offended, in 1923, half the roster for more Red Sox players. Now you can imagine the decade for the 1920s was horrible for our team. Mr. Prezzi had never put one dime from all those player sales back into our ball club. Team. All the proceeds went to its Broadway musicals. So in the 1920s, we finished last or next class every single year of the decade. Fans were not coming to the games anymore because the team was so bad, Ben Wood was basically falling apart. Things were really bad. Then our stadium came. His name is Tom Young. Thomas Austin Young. Without him, we wouldn't be talking today about the football work of this team. He so got literally saved the Red Sox and Fenway from certain extinction. So Mr. Yaki pays $1.2 million to purchase the Red Sox at Fenway. He carries $30 million or $40 million in 1931, after he turns the age of 30. Absolutely amazing. So he buys the Red Sox at Fenway for $1.2 million in 1933. Things were really good. Two feet high, 231 feet long. Probably the most famous artifact in all of American sports. Two years after the wall was built, we put a giant 23 foot high nest above that wall to help catch home run balls. So it essentially stayed, stayed the same for many, many, many years. The Yankees, in fact, owned the Red Sox for many, many, many years in one shape, way, shape, or form, all the way up until late 2001, when the team and the ballpark finally went on sale for the first time since they purchased it in 19. At the time, we had seven bidders for the Red Sox and Fenway. Six of the bidding groups just wanted to tear down Fenway and start all over again with a new ballpark. They did studies, they determined the lines of sight were no good, wasn't worth, worth the cost of renovation. Best thing to do would be to tear down Fenway and build up a modern ballpark with modern amenities. Fortunately, the winning bidders, John Henry, Larry Kino, and Tom Warner, won the bid for $660 million. They were all one of the bidding groups who not only wanted to maintain and preserve Fenway Park, but bring Fenway into the 21st century. So towards that end, they spent another $285 million of our tax-free money to once again renovate Fenway Park. That's how we get the monster seats up there. That was the very first project of the then new ownership in late 2001. When they announced they were putting seats on top of the wall, there was a lot of controversy at the time. People thought, you can't put seats on top of the left field wall. That's just sacrilege. But they did such a wonderful job with those seats. Now it's hard to imagine our ball park without them. Within the last 10 years, that was the very first construction project. Since then, they've added several other fantastic additions to our ball park. They've added the Budweiser deck up in right field and the Cumberland Farms deck. But the Budweiser deck has a restaurant you can go to, actually, to give fans a chance to stretch their legs, get away from the seats a little bit in that area. Uh, plus many other dishes. So basically open up the ballpark. Try to clear out some of the congestion here. Not to say that Fairway doesn't have congestion anymore, because we always will. That's the nature of our ballpark. But the additions that the that the uh, management has made here 
has definitely helped make Fenway much more of a pleasant experience. So, you guys ready to take the field? All right, everybody follow me, as I said. Okay, so we are about to take the field. I am very excited. Very amazing to be here. Very amazing. Some guy. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, guys. How many? Pretty awesome. <laughs> we got to get a picture. The history in the building, pretty amazing. You know who that is. We'll have a seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Here's the view from a monster seat. Gotta watch out for foul balls. Or batting practice.